All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what you did for one through one through seventeen, Dylan. What you did for one through seventeen was you guys learned how to graph. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a graph. I'm going to say what is the inequality. All right. So remember, the first step we did whenever we were given a graph is we plotted what that inequality was either less than or equal to, right? So we can say that our main point here is at 1. Now, what we need to determine is where are our values? Are our values less than 1 or greater than 1? Okay? So look at this. You can see the arrow represents the numbers to the left. So I, I count out these numbers. I say, all right, is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Are those numbers less than or are they greater than 1? Yes. Less than. They're less than. So you can draw the less than symbol. Now, we know that 0 is less than. We know that negative 1 is less than. We can't put all these numbers in there, right? If we want to represent all of the numbers, we have to use a variable. So we can use x. So you can say x is less than 1. Now the final step we need to remember is what about our point 1? Now remember, when it's an open dot, that means your graph does not include 1. So we look at this and say, all right, when it's just x is less than 1, that means my point is not included here. Remember, a less than or a greater than is what we call an open dot. And less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, is a closed dot. So therefore, since this is an open, I'm going to leave it as x is less than 1. All right? So that's how you work backwards to make a pencil flexible like rubber. Okay? <laughs>